from New York, it's theCUBE, covering Blockchain Week. Now, here's John Furrier. Hello, I'm John Furrier here in New York City for on the ground coverage of Consensus 2018. It's part of Blockchain Week New York. Uh, all the action's happening here, sold out show, tons of events happening in New York City. You got the New York City crowd, you got the Hollywood crowd, you got the tech crowd, all kind of coming together, entrepreneurs, the entire ecosystem. My next guest is Lars Rensing, who's the co-founder of Arc.io, its own blockchain, its own coin, uh, CFO. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks, John, for having me here. Thanks. So, your signs everywhere. I see yeah. Arc.io, your big sponsor, yeah. top tier sponsor. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Why sponsoring this event? Because we saw that it's a big event, uh, lots of commitments, lots of uh, people will be here, it, lots of important people are in this space and we saw like this is a good uh, area to be and so show ourselves more. You guys have a lot of traction with your, your offering, your project. Can you take a minute to explain ARC? What is yeah, it? Sure. What is ARC coin? What's the development plans? Yeah. Because you have multiple moving parts to this yeah, opportunity. Yeah. Like, to explain. So what we're trying to build is uh, the interoperability between blockchains because we see that every use case probably needs their own blockchain. Otherwise you get con uh, one single point of failure uh, where you see Ethereum clogging up. Uh, all projects are down because we have one blockchain. So every use case should have their own blockchain really. Uh, and also blockchain has different developer ecosystems too. They might want to have certain developers like JavaScript yeah. might like Hyperledger, right? Yeah, exactly. You want uh, every, uh, like that's also what we are building with our SDKs, every developer in their own language getting into blockchain is important because there are not that much blockchain developers at all. What's going on now? Obviously you guys are a blockchain platform. Developers really are engaging. Yeah, What's your yeah, strategy yeah. with developers? So far we are working on our new V2. Uh, we started from scratch because we saw some limitations in our code. We saw, okay, we need to start from scratch, uh, build a new uh, V2, and we are internal testing that right now and uh, working on that. Do you guys publish your roadmap? Uh, we publish a roadmap, but we don't give dates. <laughs> because we, we feel like uh, we, uh, when we launch when it's ready, not when, uh, when we set a date, we, we, we launch when it's ready. What's the community like for ARC? What's, the, what's it like, uh, what's the vibe? Really good, a really commitment of working together and we working actively with the community because we ask feedback from them, like uh, with the V2 when we publish, okay, we're going to work on this project or on our V2, we ask community, uh, what's your feedback on it? And we actively took feedback from them and uh, made it into the, in our development. So you're the CFO yeah. and co-founder and you have a lot of co-founders, I know you got some other co-founders, yeah. but I just love having a CFO that's not talking speeds and feeds on the spreadsheet. Yeah. You also know the technology, you're in the community. Yeah. Uh, I've been saying on theCUBE many times now that a new role's emerging in these companies, yeah. chief economic officer. Yeah. Because the token economics and the developer, this interplay now between the business and the technology, well, can you talk about that? Yeah, sure. When we started, we really looked into the economics. How are we going to build it? How are we going to look into how ARC is, the, the token is economized? How, how are people uh, going to use it? And uh, uh, so we saw that um, we saw that if you do an infinite supply or new tokens, because people are burning money. In this space, it's still insecure to sometimes lose your past faces. Yeah. So money is still burned. So you need some inflation to keep running your token organization. You got to have an ecosystem. Yeah. What is your ecosystem strategy? You got developers. Yeah. Anyone else in the ecosystem that's notable? Uh, so far we are working on our core code and when we are done with that we are looking into partnerships and expanding our ecosystem with different uh, projects. One of them is currently is Persona, which is a personal identity on the blockchain. Lars, how did you get into all this? I mean, did you just fall out of a boat one day and fall in the water and say, hey, blockchain? Was there a project? Was it open source? Did you come in for a certain, did you have an itch you were scratching? How did you guys get into this? Uh, I got into this because I have always had, I, I, my background is in construction, uh, but I ha always had a passion for IT and the new developments in that. So I started reading more about blockchain and how it works and how it can change the world. So I thought, okay, this is efficient. Uh, this is so great, uh, I want to, do something with it, and 
worked more on this than my real job. And then at the moment, at the time, was it was not really <laughs> manageable to do both anymore. So I said, okay, I'm going to full time with this because I love this. When did ARCs all come together? What year? When did it all uh, kind of come together? Augustus, September 2016, we started. So you guys, a couple years ago, good. So it's yeah. a couple years under the belt. So I got to ask you, the question that comes up a lot here on yeah. the Cube and my Cube conversations is, you have people looking at the new wave. Yeah. The infrastructure is changing completely over from old e-commerce web stack mm -hmm. to a whole new network effect, decentralized and distributed. Distributed computing still very yeah. relevant, cloud computing, open source. Yeah. Now you got decentralized. People are asking themselves, is a blockchain and decentralized and apps a fit for me? Yeah. So the question to you is, how do you answer that question? So when someone says, why blockchain? What's the answer? Depends, because you're not always, not, blockchain is not always the answer. I think some people are uh, putting too much blockchain on projects, we are not really needing blockchain. <laughs> so I think it really depends on the use case or if it's needed. It's a, it's a solution to a problem. It's not, the prob it's not always the, not always needed in that sense. Yeah. Well, it's got to be a good fit. Exactly. You can't just say I'm doing blockchain and just throw it on top of it. No. It's got to be decentralized. It's got to be some, yeah. com well, it kind of depends on the token too. Can you explain the, the token strategy? So let's just say, okay, I have a decentralized vision, architecture, but now I have to make my economic model match my token model. So there's certain coins. You have work coins for utility. You have you know, burn, mint, equilibrium. Yeah. So there's different approaches. What's your, what's your vision on how that's going to play out? Will it sort itself out? Is there a certain swim lane or a certain token model that fits a certain use case? Is there any patterns emerging? I think it really depends on what is needed, where you're looking at, where is it used for, uh, is it just for a utility, is it for security? It's really different, but the, the, uh, it's also, we said like every use case would have their own blockchain, but because if you want to do something specific for your uh, token, you can adapt to it and not uh, be stuck with the project that you're working with. You so need you got to think it through. Yeah. Really do some deep thinking. Yeah. It's almost like designing an architecture for yeah. an OS. Yeah. It's really an operating system kind of decision yeah. through the business logic. Okay, so back to the event, you big sponsor. What's going on here for you? Um, obviously you've got great visibility. Yeah. You guys doing any activities? Are you showing anything? What's the big focus for the show for ARC? Just more, be bringing ARC more to the world and see, bring, uh, uh, bring everyone more, seeing what we are building and let them showing us like, and uh, educating everyone what we are building and what we are doing and uh, that we are actively working even with the French government about uh, ARC. Why is ARC um, exciting for your contributors? What are they saying about you? What are some of the community, what's the feedback? that we are really engaged with the community and that the community is even here and we are actively talking with each other and even discussing uh, the, the development with them and even uh, brainstorming with them. So we are really engaged with the community. Is there a differentiator that you have on your blockchain? Is it faster? Is it better? Is it, what's the, what's the, um, what's the core thing that you tell people uh, on why are, they should work with you? We are a delegated proof of stake. Uh, but in the vision that we are not, we vote multiple times with your stake, you can only vote one time. And that made it that 80% of the coins in circulation are used for voting. So, and 51% attack is almost impossible. And there's lots of decentralization that delegates even. What does that mean for them? What's the, what is it, what's the impact to your partners and customers and users? Uh, the delegates are really helping because of they are uh, not only they uh, provide uh, a service to securing the network, they're also actively promoting our uh, doing meetups, just everything. Uh, it, it's creating uh, it's creating a great community. Because yeah, so it's growing. Yeah. Lars, thanks for coming on. Congratulations, you're a thanks. true entrepreneur. Love the hustle. Love the fact that you took a bold move in the big sponsorship. Yeah. Um, that was a tough decision. No, probably easy decision. No, that's tough one. <laughs> it's a big money. Yeah, good big luck, uh, Lars, with ARC.io. Great Thanks. project. Uh, got a good success. Very community focused. Uh, check them out online at ARC.io. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. Thecube.net is our URL. We're out in the open. We're in the open here on the floor at Consensus 2018, part of Blockchain Week New York. Thanks for watching. More live coverage after this short break. <laughs>